Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 back again. Uh, I've got another new. Um, I have. I'm gonna get some comics today, so I'll be able to review last week's comics. And um, all right, now I have to. And well, I have another more I one review. And well, it's not the one I ordered off eBay that I mentioned in my other last two videos, but it's one I want to do for a while, and thought I'd do it. Okay. The Power Morpher. The original Power Morpher. Yeah. This is pretty much the holy grail of Power Rangers collectible. Of Power Rangers toys. I mean, uh, there are a few flaws to it, though. Um, one thing is that they didn't release where they didn't release a morpher where the silver parts would be gold and there would be a dragon coin for Tommy's Green Ranger morpher but but um yeah but they didn't do that it was only released in Japan but people have found that if you take them if you take these two off and spray paint them gold then and put labels on then you know you can get the morpher and there are people who make the dragon coins off eBay and they sell them. Um also we kind of the design is kind of wrong in America cuz see here from the side this handle is it's supposed to be the other way upside down and stuff. But uh, you know it still works. I mean I kind of like it. Um oh wait, I forgot to Okay, and um these things came in the package with um, a Power Ranger. T with these things also came originally came with a gun, and but this originally came with a toy of toy gun slash sword uh, used by the Rangers and five additional power coins for each one. Um, when I ordered this off eBay, uh, normally you'd find the Morpher with the gun in the box for like two hundred. 150 to 200 bucks, or you find the morpher with the power points for 150. Um, I got this in an auction which went up to like 75 to 80 dollars. Um, the cool thing about this is is that these black parts right here they aren't labels. Um, if you can see it, yeah, they were like the guy, the seller actually painted them on though. That was awesome. And um, okay, the uh, right here, and uh, also for the D. When I said this was upside down, yeah, it's supposed to be like this with this button kind of right here, so that way you can you get to work on the right hand. Um, also, also the uh, decals would normally just say from the TV. Also, you can go to re reprolabels.com and you can order custom labels for like whether you want it to look like the Japanese to get some you know decals on the back here. There'd be like a gold, gold plate right here that has Z on it for Zordon. Um, and also, and also they also make TV show editions so that instead of saying Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it just says Power and Rangers right here. Um, the only coin I have though is the Mastodon coin. That was the only coin that came with this in the auction. Um, okay, now for a little demonstration. Uh, pretty much, a flip back. Say it's more of a time. Call it out. Call out their power. Like, well, this down is more. So he'd say, I can't really do it good because do this too well because of the camera. But because I don't want to move my camera. But uh, okay, here, like master on, and then open it up, and that's all it does, pretty much. Oh wait, if you can't hear it, then. Yep, it's kind of scratchy, but and uh, the coins come out like so. Um, I was waiting. I thought about wasn't gonna do this yet until I got, because I was thinking about you know gang labels that say Power and Rangers, so I could put them on upside down, give it a more authentic look. But kind of got a little harder to hold with my coin with this and stuff. Um. The coins can go in. Um, if you want to do that, though, if you have one of these and you want to make it look more like a TV show with the 
by flipping this over and putting the Power Ranger Morph for labels on. And, um, okay, put in the coin. And, well, you can also, you don't have to do anything with the coin, really. You just gotta put it in upside down. See here? Put it on, and there we go. Alright, that is my Power Morpher. I love this Morpher. I wouldn't sell it for anything. Um, it is, I give it a 5 out of 5 because of, well, you know, it's the original, I love the original Power Ranger series. Um, I like all the original Rangers. They were cool. Um, again, though, if you want to get these, they're really expensive to find. They're hard to find, and also they're really expensive. So, all right, I would recommend this Danny Power Ranger fan. So I guess that's it. Um, I'm gonna, I'll try to upload another video for today that has my comic book reviews from last week. I'm gonna go to the comic book store and pick those up. Um, this is Spider-Man 1991 signing off.